from the nostril. So before you get started, this guy will be easy. I put something down the throat. Sometimes they gorge up blood too. Yeah. And you don't want blood on these feathers. So I'll put that down there. And wrap it around this beak. Just so if it bleeds, it's not going to get in these feathers. Yep. So that's step number one. Okay, so I start right there. You can feel the breastbone is right there. And so on this particular bird, there's going to be a ton of feathers coming out. And so I've broken the skin. And I'm going to make a cut. Trying not to. She's got fat on her. Trying not to to break that membrane that goes over the guts yeah. because otherwise it's going to be terrible. So I usually go down to just about the anus there, not yeah. much farther. Some clean up here to clean my hands on. Okay, so the first thing is to detach this leg from the body. Okay, so there's the leg. Yeah. And I'm going to sever that. And then I'm going to detach it from everything else. And in most of these birds, it's really easy to do. And on this one, it is. So this leg is now detached from the body. And there it is. One leg, one leg. gone. I'll do the exact same thing on this side. There's the leg right there. I can feel it with my fingers. I'll bust this bone. And I'm going to separate this leg from the body. And this one is so easy. We don't want any ligatures or anything joining it. It has to be totally separated. Okay, so now the next thing is to detach the tail. So you've got to separate the Pope's nose from the rest of this. Okay. And yeah. it's not, you, there's no simple way of doing this. But basically, you've got to feel. Feel it. Alright, so there we've got it. It's right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm now going to clip it off. I've now separated the tail from the body. Yeah. So there's the tail. Yeah. There's the body. And now, now peel it. we've got to peel it back. And I always keep, people think that I'm weird because of my fingernails, but I always keep those two fingernails long so I can do this. Yeah. And so this comes off fairly easy. The big thing is you've got to be careful you don't puncture the skin. Yeah. And it's so you you really have to pry it off. It's like with a with a screwdriver, you're prying off something. Now this leg, there's a little bit of of um, stuff joining the leg to the body, and I'm going to get rid of that. So now that leg is totally separated, and now I'll do the other one. All right. So now the body and the legs and the tail are separated. So now I gotta peel this back and I gotta do the same thing with the wings. Always peel it back on the back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now I gotta break this wing bone. It's right there. Right Do close to the body. Right close to the body. I'll fix the rest of it later. Yeah. And I'll do the other one too. See it. There we go. That's it for the back. The rest of this we do from the front. There's a little ligature here that tends to, yep. to cut that off. And then we peel this back, and we're going to get a bit of blood on here because of that wound. That'll come off later. How do you deal with the blood? Wash later. it off as fast as you can. Okay. Cold water. Never soap.
Okay. Okay, so these teal, sometimes it sticks, but this guy's going to be fairly easy. I can wrap that there so I can grab it. Peel it off. It's, it's really, it's just like peeling a banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do this wing first. You see where my thumb is? Yes. I have to separate that. That wing's now off. The same with this guy. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, as I told you yesterday, this won't pull. I can't pull it through. Normally, I would. Normally, mm -hmm. you just pull it inside out. With the, uh, I couldn't even do it with none of the birds. I've been able to do it, so I can't pull that any further. Mm -hmm. But I've got stuff to do here before I do anything else. Okay. Okay. So there's a bit of fat on this. Not much. We've got to cut this fat off, or else it'll rot. Yeah, this one's not bad. Eh? This one's not bad. you got to get this wing, you got to get all this flesh off the top part of this wing. So I pull it out as far as I can get it. Cut it off. Let me do that with my scissors. I'll pull that out. It's all right. It's not going to be a problem. It's just mm -hmm. gonna, I got to cut this wing bone. And once it's shattered, oh, this is fairly easy. You don't have to get all the flesh off, but you sure have to get a fair amount of it or it'll rot. Mm -hmm. For this bird, that's probably enough. And Dose that with that stuff. And I'll do the same down here. Yeah, maybe I'll do the other wing first. There's one small break in the skin, but that's no big deal. The bluebills were horrible. They, they had were. half an inch of fat on them. Uh, uh, you had uh, to peel it all off. Okay, bring uh, this off. It's almost good enough. This borax is just amazing at how it, it just cures that something fierce. This last little bit of fat down here. And that borax is just something you buy in the you buy it in any grocery store. Any grocery store. I get it at Walmart. Yeah. You get it in a box the size of a cereal box, and uh, and that's it. Now I normally have to cut see how the skin is if you leave a bird too long it starts to go like that, and another yeah. day that'll turn green. Yeah. And then it starts smelling, and you can't get rid of the smell. I'm going to cut part of that off. Not much, I guess I don't have to get rid of that little bit of meat. Actually, I I did that rather well this time. Usually I have a bit of residue. Yeah. That's in the Pope's nose area? The Pope's nose, yep. Gets rid of that. I try not to put any borax on while the flesh is near because you don't want borax on the meat. It'll wreck it. Oh, okay. It'll give it a terrible taste. Right, just a little bit more fat and then we'll do the interesting stuff. Okay. That's pretty much it for the for that part of it. Okay. Are we ready? Here? Yep, yep. Okay, now I've got to detach this right there. That's it for that part of the body. Um, just in case there's bleeding, I'll shove that in there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to turn this right side out. So there was no bleeding up there. The head is now right there. Mm -hmm. So I now have to start doing this. 
This is what you yeah, hope you dark. don't have to do. Okay, so it depends. You've got to decide which way you're going to have this facing. If it's going to face that way, then you cut it here. If it's going to face that way, then you cut it there. Yeah. That's good enough. Then. Rx everywhere. Rx everything. Oh, yeah, everything. And fill this eye socket. Mm -hmm. And I really don't have any teal sized eyes here. So I'm going to have to use one of these guys, which is going to be too big. Mm. I didn't expect to get any teal. Mm -hmm. You see, the other eyes I've got are the wrong color. Oh, yeah. There's, um, there's red for canvas back. That one's too big. Where did that go? Yeah, oh, fine. Yeah, I got it. There it is, I see it over there. Yeah. All right. Good, I can get a swig of coffee. Okay. Did you find it? Yeah. Good stuff. Great. Okay. So I'm going to put that inside there. So it's in there now. And then we'll peel this back. Fold it over. And we'll fold it over. And the eye should be right there. Oh. There it is. Huh? Okay, so there's the eye. I couldn't have fit that in from the outside. It would no, be. Yeah. And that, whichever way I leave it, that'll freeze in place so you don't have to put glue or anything in it. Okay. Take this out. Get rid of that tongue. Get rid of that. And I'll put a touch of this in there. Not much. On this one, I'll only put an eye in one side because I don't have another one. I could do that later. Uh, a bit more cotton in there. Oh, and this is the side where the cut is, eh? This is the side where the cut is. Yeah. And so it doesn't really matter how well you do it. Yeah. Um, but you really have to have a good side and a bad side when you do this cheek cutting. Yes. And I use very strong... Um, a little bit of blood there, which I'll have to get rid of. I use very strong um, thread for that. Um, uh, I use uh, uh, leather thread, mm -hmm. the kind that, that uh, shoemakers use. Put this in here to absorb any fat that leaks during the... Like I can't freeze this one. Yes. So it'll have to go fresh. I'll take that off and that's basically it. That's, that's it's yeah. ready for transport. And. Uh, um, I may do a little bit of touch-up. I want to get that blood off. Excuse me, I'll okay. get yep. that off now. And, um, and that's it. It takes 25 minutes. Wow. I know you didn't get much photography, but... And that eye, well, you'll just, you'll shape kind of the yeah. eyelid. Once I get the, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do here. I just want to get rid of this little bit of blood. Okay, so then I take some of this, which I borrowed from the kitchen. Put it on there, put the eye down. And now it's ready for transport. Done. Now that's basically it.